My name is Jody Brown. I'm the current uh, Child and Adolescent Psychiatry Fellowship Training Director for the University of Florida. The fellowship in particular, I think uh, we, we've done a very nice job of gathering a lot of high quality fellows and I think that's really where it all begins. My name is Tara Hoskins, Program Coordinator. DCAP is UF's Department of Child and Adolescent Psychiatry. So I'm kind of um, the um, the mother goose of the nest. DCAP is um, a great program where you really see a great relationship between the faculty and the fellows. I chose child psychiatry because I feel like there's so much hope. I was very interested in adult psychiatry and geriatrics as well. If we can actually help the kids and their families when they're young, we can actually potentially change the trajectory of the illness. One of the, the things that drew me to UF was the level of different specialties that we have. We have a wide variety of specialties in treating different populations. Uh, for example, we treat OCD, specific phobias, uh, social phobia. One of the reasons UF, though, was very, very high on my list was because of the various different types of experiences that you got working in a hospital, and that was something that really appealed to me. For you know, almost two months now, it has lived up to my expectations. I had a pretty good idea, but it, it has even exceeded my expectations in terms of the wonderful faculty we work with, the great, you know, lectures we get, and the um, just various amount of cases that we see. We have a really awesome child and adolescent psychiatry division that's been in existence for well over 30 years and I've been a member for over 30 years. I've done a variety of roles in it. The reason why I would tell people to consider UF for child psychiatry training is the faculty really like teaching. Um, the staff, it's very small and intimate so there's um, really good interactions with the staff you get to interact clinically, and that includes the PhDs as well. I think that there would be any faculty that I would hesitate calling and waking up at three in the morning if I needed to. Um, they are always there for you, and you do have to call to wake them up when you're on call um, overnight. And uh, that kind of fosters that, you know, anytime you need help, ask for it. The atmosphere here is very collegial and very education focused. Um, I think that, that all of the faculty take the training aspect of their jobs very seriously and consider the residents and fellows in their, in their decision making to make sure that they all get the appropriate training experience. The fellowship is two years long. Um, everyone does at least four months of inpatient psychiatry. That's our hospital that's across the street. Um, that's during usually their first year, and then the rest of their time is usually in our outpatient clinic. My second year, um, I actually had my own uh, clinic in a community mental health uh, building that I saw patients by myself. Um, I, I did a little bit more outpatient therapy with families, and, and that's where I feel like I really started figuring out, figure out what my own style is and how to sort of treat kids and families holistically. So they take our education really seriously and um, clinical work never cuts into lecture time. Basically, uh, the attendings cover the units for when we're in lecture. In most programs, you know, the resident is still responsible for patient care, so we don't have that. When the resident or the fellow is expected to be in didactics, they are excused for patient care responsibilities so they can focus on their education. They're, they're taking education seriously and, and really want us to be engaged during those times. And then being part of a greater institution like the University of Florida, if that's your mothership that you get to tie your you know, baby ship to, that's not a bad mothership. And if you love sports, you know, this is title town in a lot of ways. And being within driving distance to the beach if you love the beach, you can't beat that. I love living in Gainesville. For me, it's a great area to um, raise your kids, top-rated schools. Gainesville is, is, even though it's a small city, it's, it has a very multicultural component to it. I would argue that the majority of our fellows graduating are going to be very well prepared. If you look at uh, ABPN, pass rates on the boards is very, very high in the upper 90%. So if they're worried about board certification and being ready to pass those boards, they're coming to a great place. 
we produce terrific child and adolescent psychiatrists. They go out in the world, they make a difference. Some of them have become academicians, which is really important so that we can continue to train more and also train other professionals. Like I said, everyone wants to teach and everyone wants to help kids. And I think that's, that's two great things to look for. There's nothing like being a part of UF Psychiatry. Thank you.